Hi dear students, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss one important topic, center of gravity and center of mass. And what condition center of gravity and center of mass both will coincide each other. Okay. So center of mass already explained in the previous videos. It is a point where total mass of the system is said to be concentrated. Why the center of gravity is coming into the picture? Because we are all living on the earth. Earth is attracting every object. Earth has acceleration due to gravity. So I am experiencing a force that is a gravitational force. You are also experiencing a force that is a gravitational force. We are all in fact experiencing continuously one force on us that is the gravitational force. Okay. So if you leave this object, it is falling down. Why it is falling? There is a gravitational force on it that is downward towards the center of the earth. Okay. But which point you can call center of gravity? On this object, each and every particle, each and every particle of this object, there is a force that is downward direction, downward direction, downward direction. Agree? Okay? I want to stop it, not to fall it down. So I have to hold like this. Agree? If I hold like this, what will happen? It will fall down. Means there is one point between this and this where the gravitational force downward can balance by applying upward one force. That point is called center of gravity. Okay. I told in center of mass also. Center of mass means if you apply a force on this object at the center of mass, this object will go translatory motion. This already explained. That is external force, this is gravitational force. That's it. Okay. And what extra you should know about the center of gravity? Here, if you keep any object, the object will first, it will adjust to its position. If I leave like this, what will happen? It will fall down and it is stopped. So the downward force, that is center of, uh, the force due to the gravity, balanced by upward force. That point is called center of gravity. And in what way center of mass and center of gravity is different? This is the most important thing we should know. Center of mass ke liye, we are not bothering gravitational force or any external force only we are bothering. But center of gravity, we have to think about the gravitational force. First question I will ask you. Is the gravitational force is same everywhere? I will clarify in perfect way. Is acceleration due to gravity constant everywhere? No. If you are going away from the earth, the acceleration due to gravity will decrease. If you go inside the earth also, acceleration due to gravity decreases. Going away and going inside. In both the cases, the acceleration due to gravity is changing. Okay, it is decreasing. Again, if you go from uh, equator to poles or poles to equator also, it is changing. It means the center of gravity cannot be coincide with center of mass always. Except one condition. The center of mass will coincide with center of gravity. If Acceleration due to gravity is constant throughout the object. What does it mean? You take this object only. At this point you take what is the acceleration due to gravity? At this point what is the acceleration due to gravity? At this point what is the acceleration due to gravity? At this point and so more here, 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 each and every point. There are different uh, particles of this object, no, inside the object. At each particle has mass m1, m2, m3, m4, like that. 
So at each and every point, if acceleration due to gravity is constant, that time only the center of gravity and center of mass will coincide each other. Keep it in mind. This is most important thing. Okay, I'll repeat again. If acceleration due to gravity is constant throughout the object for which you are going to calculate the center of gravity. Okay? If acceleration due to gravity is constant throughout the object, that time only, center of gravity will coincide with center of mass. Okay? Clear? Okay. Now I will ask the question. If it is not same, then how to calculate? That is a challenging task. If acceleration due to gravity is not constant throughout the object, then how to calculate the center of gravity? You see here. X axis, Y axis. Suppose one object is lying along x axis I have taken reference so I am taking uh, two different points so here I am taking one point you assume it is m1 another point mass is m2 ok so this is the origin so at m1 it is at a distance of x1 uh, and m2 is at a distance of x2 but m1 the acceleration due to gravity is g1 at m2 acceleration due to gravity is g2 here acceleration due to gravity at x1 is g1 at x2 g2 they are different in this case center of gravity you can use this formula xg I am calling xg is equal to m1 g1 x1 plus m2 g2 x2 divided by m1 g1 plus m2 g2 this is simple example I am giving you got it no if g1 equal to g2 you take out common g1 this g2 g1 g2 if they are equal you take out for common you can cut it finally you will get m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 plus m2 center of mass formula for x coordinate m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 plus m2 no say it will be valid if acceleration due to gravity is different at different position of the object then you have to use this formula. You got it now? Okay, thanks for watching this video. Please like this video, share this video and subscribe my channel. And uh, tap the bell icon to get the notification for further uploads of my videos. Bye-bye.